Right, at least that's over. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Oh, I think this is the bottom of the barrel. The <laughs> doctor. I think it was a while ago. So, look at that. Oh. Why did we watch it? That's the problem. I'm surprised we didn't gorge our eyes out. <laughs> if you did, if you didn't read the title, this is the review of Love and Monsters. <sighs> it's such a bad episode. <sighs> I just don't know. How, like, why was it so bad? I don't understand. Well, the monster was created by a Blue Peter <laughs> fan. <laughs> 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 why was it? Wait, why was it blue to pee? Because <laughs> they made a contest, of like, oh, oh. and that was the best they got out of the, all of the people who entered. Like, uh, I'm sure diehard fans would have entered that and would have <laughs> literally wrote a script that was probably better than that shit. <laughs> like, I want a fat alien that can absorb people, and it's like, oh, it tastes like a mess. It's not. And there's it's like like fans. <laughs> A man called Elton. There's literally, it's literally like the definition of a Doctor Who fan base gone wrong. <laughs> Linda United. What the hell? What the hell? I mean, Linda United was AIDS. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's the same. I'm sorry. But like, okay, so like some of the cast are like forgettable. Like yeah. really forgettable. Right. I mean, so was there was, okay, yeah, now, let's go, let's go through the acting first. Okay. okay so, Okay, so the cast and acting, the characters. Doctor and Rose weren't in it enough. That yeah. is the point. They're, they, the they're good. They were, they were in it at the end. Yeah, they were. They were in it at the end as well, helping out Elton. Yeah. But they were in it at the start and they were in the end. They were amazing. And yeah. those are the only it's scenes where the show, where the, the, where the episode is good. Way. <laughs> yeah, where he's like, come on, come on, come on, come on. And that's... A, Weevil from Torchwood. Yeah. Mm. Little references here and yeah. there. I like how they do little references. Speaking of references, the whole episode is a running reference. And to be honest, let's try and ni- let's try and cherry pick some positives here because right. we're trying to squeeze blood then out we'll of a chop stone. Down the tree. Yes. <laughs> Seriously though, trying to get positives out of this story is like squeezing blood out of a stone. <sighs> right. Okay. Okay. So should we... Okay. Positives. So, All right, now we're moving on to next. No, I'm joking. There are no positives. Okay. But, um, yeah, there I, were I, I, no positives. There, there were, okay, so the acting was good. I mean, I like the acting with um, the main guy. I've forgotten his name. The guy who plays Elton. I've forgotten, um, forgotten what he's called, but yeah. Yeah, he's, I'd say he's a good actor. You don't really see him in that. Uh, yeah, no, you don't. That may have ruined no. his career. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Just thought of that as you were saying it, yeah. I mean, that's, what, that's what probably ruined his career. Why? Seriously, that episode is like an hour of I don't know. Just it's a waste of my life. <laughs> I've watched it twice now. I think I might, might have watched it three times. Yeah, like obviously on origin, original transmission. I must have watched it on DVD like once in the past, and then I watched it again not too long ago, like right now, just a minute um, ago. I think I may have watched it three or four times. I think okay, so three hours of my life. I will literally be lost. I will never get back. When I was young, that kind of... It didn't scare me. It just really disgusted me. I was... I, I had a bowl of ice cream with me. I was eating it. And, and then, then I was you, thinking then about it. And when you saw the, ta- yeah. the newspaper, it's like, it's nothing, don't worry. And because then I'm the absorber My ice cream kind of like melted. Kind of like, oh, it kind of reminds me of it. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh, I don't want to eat it anymore. <laughs> just and that scene, though, when... Uh, um, what's her face? I've forgotten her name already. Um, that's how bad the episode is. It's so yeah, forgettable. Um, I've forgotten her name. Ursula. Her, Ursula. 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 That's it. And um, when she gets absorbed, he's like, <laughs> one touch! That's all it takes! <laughs> Raw! And, and, um, and her clothes get absorbed. Yeah. Bit. And, <laughs> when she, and when she's put onto his chest, like her glasses are like protrude from her, from his the chest. <laughs> oh. It's the most stupidest thing I've seen in my life. <laughs> Just, how does that planet work? Like, the planet <laughs> heating, is there, are they all absorbable? They can't. They, like, they, 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 they absorb they each can, other. They can never make love. <laughs> but no, they I can reproduce each other. Like, I'm re- sure they, how does wait? How does how does um? 
I think what because happens is the female absorbs the man, how do, how do they and then give... she get, she gives birth to the to the basically there's babies, pointless then, then in there. There's pointless then, then in there. Uh, she has a litter of of children. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean that's that's how it works. I'm gonna go with that. You know <laughs> what about that? I don't give a shit about how their planet was. So we so we've ranked. I don't do they, give a shit. Now, do they lay eggs? That's that's one of the questions. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, just really... try and break down their planet. And see how it works. <laughs> oh my god! I just want that. I, okay, so okay, that's a good thing about this episode. The absorbers never come back. That's a good thing that came out of this episode. The absorber oh, has never returned. I want the doctor to go to Clom and see all the. <laughs> Or see what's there, you know? He could be the only one. He could have been a genetic mutation that got out. <laughs> I'm trying to make yeah. the story a bit more interesting. Yeah, because <laughs> as, as it is, it's pretty fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's, go on, right, let's go back on to characters. Okay. Right, anyway, so, um, Mr. Kennedy was his name. No, the, yeah. fat, the fat guy. Yeah, Mr. Kennedy. The fat guy who turns out to be the absorber of. Yeah. I think the acting... Uh, he's a celebrity. He's, um, Peter Kay, the actor. Yeah. I um, think... Yeah. I think he's uh, quite. I think he's quite good. I think he's quite good as the acting, but he's just made. A, he's just made out as a joke. Mm. That he's just play. He played a joke. Yeah. He played a joke. Um, like I said, Elton. I'm a big fan of the actor, and we've already said this in a podcast of wasting celebrities. Um, now, I now really, really love of two celebrities. I know, because, no, three because Peter Kay. Oh um, yeah. Then yeah. there's then there's Ursula, the yeah, actor, yeah. actress of her, and of then obviously Elton, the act, actor of Elton. Just... Three wasted. Oh, it's really frustrating. Okay. Um. Uh, the other characters of Linda are forgettable. I mean, I remember Skinner. He was Skinner. like the leader of it until yeah. he got absorbed, and then Mr. Kennedy's like, "You're all school children now." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought Skinner was a was Skinner teacher. I have, no idea. I have no idea. I mean, he was writing a novel, so maybe he might have been an English teacher for kids yeah. at one point. I, can't, I don't give a shit, to be honest. But yeah. Oh, he didn't get to finish his novel, though. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the worst part. Oh, poor Mr. Skinner. He'll never get to finish like, his novel. I don't understand. You know when, when the... Was he explode or something? Oh, yeah. He, then, he, he just goes, wee, just, just <laughs> falls into the... Why, into why the didn't concrete. Skinner get like onto a tile? Like... I don't understand why none of the males. Oh yeah, like, that's a good point because like Skinner was at, was like Ursh, what, Ursh, because Ursh, Ursh, Ursh it's really Skinner convenient. Were, like, five it's really convenient that yeah 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 because they said that the that, that all of the others aren't able to be yeah. saved even though Skinner was literally just absorbed See, like, two minutes last one or? two minutes before Ursula went back in and got absorbed with her clothes and everything. <laughs> I wonder how the clothes taste, Mister Absorbaloff. Yeah, how look. I'm like a, a question in a way, like I don't want to ask questions. I just want that. I just want that. <laughs> like I'd literally burn that episode to the ground. I hate that one. Does he need to exalt them for food? I think he just feels like he's like because I, I mean, or is it like I guess, drugs I, or something? I don't know. Probably drugs. I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. that, I mean, the drugs for aliens was explored in like, Children of Earth, wasn't it? not yeah, Children of Earth in yeah. Torchwood, wasn't it? That was pretty dark. But anyway. Yeah. That's mm. a good Doctor Who story. We're not talking about good ones. Oh, We're talking about it's really the shittiest of the shit. Mm. Um, so like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand this alien at all. I just, I'm trying to put it into my mind. I understand every single alien. The thong, just, the thong wearing <laughs> alien. <laughs> Like, I understand, like, <laughs> fucking Daleks and, like, there's a Cyberman here. I understand them. Yeah, they so... have a reason. They have a reason to uh, be alive. But he's all off. There's not. He is fucking nothing. I fucking hate him. <laughs> Just he, had to. No, but the absorbers are amazing. He has a Mohican and a mullet mixed together, doesn't he? <laughs> oh my god! He just... has a. Literally, if you notice, he actually had like a Mohican. Did he? he had literally... a Mohican and a mullet going down his back. It's like he was like some sort of monster. He just evolved, and he still got that <laughs> no, I, like I, hair I on the back. Oh, I don't know. Just... No, I bet like like. We uh, came to Earth after he was like, oh, sh- fuck Clom, I'm staying on Earth. This place is amazing. They have haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> and they have thongs. <laughs> like, I want this weird, weird thing. Like, on my head. I want to look like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like these thongs. So, 
I have another question about the fucking exorbitant. Like, is this the first time he's absorbing aliens, or do the do the faces eventually just go away? Or like, because there's no yeah, other yeah, because there's no other faces on the like, body. It was literally just the Linda group. It was literally just yeah. the other the forgettable characters, and then Skinner and Ursula. Um, well, why did he go for the Linda group? I mean, because um, oh, they were hunting for the Doctor, and he wanted the Doctor for some reason. Oh yeah, I don't know course. why. That, I'm, I, mean, I, I remembered something. Like, I remembered something. Are you proud of me? I remembered something from that episode. It from could the be like her- heroin. The doctor could be heroin for him. Like it like, gets oh, really, yeah. yeah I really mean, <laughs> to be honest, though, talking about like like nutrition, like he, it, it might be that because I mean, when he absorbed like Ursula, there was this comic relief moment. Like, Tears like chicken. He goes. Mm. So it might be for food, but I just don't know. Shit. Just. <laughs> So shit. Oh, right. And the story. The story was written by Russell T. Davis. I'm ashamed of you, Russell T. Davis. <laughs> I'm actually ashamed of you. Oh my god! It's it, the exorbitant. Just exorbitant. Whatever. The <laughs> it's it's just, long. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Like, I mean, I mean, there's some. If you actually pay attention to the episode, like there are some interesting parts of it, like. As you, I mean, even though I don't give a shit about the character Elton, I like the actor, but I hate the character. The character's stupid. Like, it doesn't mean anything to me. Like, it uncovers like what happened to his mum, and I don't yeah. know what actually what actually happened there because you you thought it was an alien. I thought him his mum was an alien. Because I, I don't know. I mean, I know that the doctor showed up in the house and he found like, his mum dead. The reason why his mum like his mum's dead because she was I don't know was he adopted or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because I know that would kind of make sense. Like his his mum's an alien, and yeah. then these aliens come along. That to makes kill more her sense than other. She did something. I don't know. She came to Earth because they're, they're humanoid yeah. aliens. Yeah. Oh, I mean, um, in the opening shot, the opening scene with uh, the Doctor and Rose included, they rip off every single episode of Scooby Doo. <laughs> they're running through the doors. I like that part. I like, I like that. that. That's pretty good. I like that. But they do rip off Scooby Doo. <laughs> Well, everyone rips off Scooby. Yeah. Uh, okay. There's so many scenes and movies and TV shows where they, you know, run. Literally, like okay, so this is basically, this is basically a YouTube vlogger. This episode is basically just yeah. a vlogger just talking about his shit life. Yeah, just how he how he does still doesn't know what happened to his mum about how he's stalking this alien guy yeah. and his and his <laughs> girlfriend was dissolved into a tile on the ground. Yeah, it's just I'm trying to rip on the vloggers here, but I don't understand. Like good ones, like ones that have like their life is like there's something going on with their life. Like their life is interesting. That sounds really mean. Like the good ones, like you know, they you know the life's kind of interesting. They go into all these places, but the ones that are just like. So today I went to the shops and I got an. Uh, okay, so um, let me just expand on that. You you've got a good point, but I need to explain that because yeah, yeah. So. What he was doing, bad vloggers sit in their room and explain what happened to their day. Yeah, instead of good vloggers, around, you good know, vloggers. So I'm in New York hold, today. Can, and... Good vloggers hold their camera when they live their life. They have their camera or their phone and right. they film what they do. Like if they meet a friend, oh hey, nice to see you. Ah, oh, it's good to see. You. Oh, I'm here with, here with my friend. Say hi to the yeah. say hi to the internet. That sort of vlogging is good. I like vlogging where you're like, like that. I nice. went to the shops yeah. today. I bought a nice shirt. I wish it's my girlfriend was alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the shirt. Here. It's amazing. Look, we're going to kiss now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 